Howdy folks, it is Lanso90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Keep on keeping on. Get dusted. Dusted. I killed you. M1911 sitting there. He died before. I was say I was looking forward to looting his uh, his special crowbar thing if he had one, but he does not have one apparently. All right. Lock from both friggin' sides again. <laughs> Why? Oh, hello, vehicle. Yeah, these vehicles inside of buildings are usually in mint condition. This thing's perfectly fine. Scissor jack. It's the one we already got. Runner pack. Oculars. I think we already have one. We could probably just drop it after we picked it up there. Mace miscellaneous repair kit. Sure. It's like actually not that useful for us because the uh It's new, actually. Boiling, three food cooking. Store 12 liters of fluid. I don't think we need it, though. I don't know if this would speed up making... I guess I'll grab it. I don't know if it would speed up uh, processing water, just because it can hold more, you know? Candle, give me the lighter. Put duct tape and string. These are some of my favorite things. A tech review, I already got it. <clears throat> Recycle boots, I'll grab them. Just because they have a bit of Kevlar in them. And any little bit of Kevlar is extremely valuable. Oh, there's an open door back here. Aspirin. Matchbook. Some zombies. I was hoping I could climb over this one and get into the back, but... Oh, they got a tough zombie on their side. A couple of them, actually. Uh-oh. Sandwich between the two could be really bad. Luckily, this one was stunned. That's another one of these places. Uh, character sheet. <laughs> Dungeon Dragon Sixth Edition. Two, two there.
Really? Wow. That could actually, like, really end someone's game. It shouldn't do that. You kind of need to, like, flip this. If you're, like, a, a new player, and you go into that basement with, like, not much equipment on, you can't come up the way you came in. It's going to spawn you over here every time you go up. Let's just double check it with the other stair. I don't remember which one we used. Let's try this one. Can't go up. Yeah, they both go into this. You get trapped down there. If you end up with just like your bare hands. Extremely dangerous game. Need to not do that. Trunk is full, so it fell to the ground. Stockpot. I think we got everything out of this up here, but might as well look at it while we're up here. There's another electric vehicle here. Not nothing. Yeah, I was pretty sure we grabbed most stuff here. I don't think there is anything. Fine by me. What do we have in the middle seat here? Cannot tell. A hard hat. Not necessary. Loading overloading. I don't know why. There's a lot of zombies down there. Let's try to keep our keep away from getting too many of those guys. Ammo. I don't know why uh, Cataclysm has been giving us some issues here. Oops. Cash card. Cash mask. This is the body of the, or all the stuff from that Firefighter zombie we saw earlier. Here, Kevlar, please. Oh, zombies. What is that a hunting supply store? That's probably intentional, so you can't get in there and get all the good stuff. Alright, well, what is that? Did we hit this house? I think we missed this house. That time magazine, please. I'm not going to be able to carry much out of this house. I saw this thing that said kit on it, and I was like, I don't remember coming here. Our radio box. Oh, you can have a oh, controlled car. I think about that. I bet you could use that to distract a bunch of zombies. <laughs> That's been in the game for like ever. I've just never messed with it at all. Seems seemed like it would be unimportant, but with like as many zombies as we saw up there, that could like actually matter. Just pulling off all the zombies from somewhere we want to go. Basket. 
hard arm guards. I guess we can. Yeah, no, we can't. <laughs> I grab him for the neoprene. Oh, there might be more in here. mask, Linux t-shirt, part of pants. Okay. Duct tape and a pretty big battery in that flashlight, so I'll take it. Anything else in there, so let's start heading back. We cleared out most of the edges of town. There's just a few groups of like a ton of zombies that I don't want to deal with. We're gonna need some like explosives, or we're gonna have to break out a gun to gun down like the strong ones and then melee the rest. Most zombies we can fight so well. There's gonna be a few situations where there's too many zombies for me to overcome. Gun coating overloaded. Come on, 3800X. have 16 cores for nothing. I need to really try to push the NVENC in recording, see how it looks, see how it performs on the video card. I should also scroll this. See the average temperature of our part here. See, you want to see GPU clock, you want to see memory clock, mem usage, I don't care about the GPU voltage, power target. Uh, I don't know about, I don't think we need GPU usage. Maybe. So the clock, GPU usage don't need, GPU temperature is what I want to look at. is actually fine for temperature. I don't know why things are struggling right now. CPU's not too hot either. Alright, we've got to do some sorting here. Books are easy to spot, so I'll grab those first. Memory cards can go there as well. Let's 
USB drive. Actually, we haven't been putting them in this pile, but that's okay. Inventory, you can have all the gyms and stuff. Food, of course. Of course, I'm gonna miss a lot of stuff. I'm gonna have to do. Our refrigerator is actually full. <laughs> okay. Well. Tiny bit of a problem. We'll figure it out though. Let's see. I'm gonna be much medicine. Guess we'll do parts then next. Get all these candles, copper wire, duct tape. It's a lot of duct tape. Batteries and lighters. String. Let's see, was it M to move a stack of things? It might be Shift M to move the whole stack without it asking. Paper. Charging station, gonna come in handy. Fuel chain. Tools, we'll put the voltometer. Tongs, yeah, we already had a pair. Okay, multi tool repair kit. Geiger counter. Equipment pile, put the baseball bats. This paper page can go there. Um, most of the rest of this is just food. It's a detergent. Soap. Right. Little bracelets. in here. If we ever find someone to trade with, this stuff is actually going to be worth a lot. Well, maybe not. I might have priced it appropriately since it's not really. <laughs> the buyer value is like 68 for a silver necklace. How does that compare to like water? A good gallon jug of Actually, these aren't worth that much either. I was gonna say maybe just water would be worth a lot more to a lot more to people now than uh, jewelry and stuff. Actually, most of this doesn't even say what the barter price is. So maybe this is a good idea that I have all that stuff. Okay, now a lot of the stuff. 
Also just gonna go on the ground. Cell phones, flashlights. I might just keep all the jugs of stuff now, because I have enough. I have enough jugs as it is, and maybe we can use this bleach and stuff or something. Yeah, I accidentally pressed my V key and that messed stuff up. Uh oh. What did I do? I did something terrible there. And all the leather stuff. Motorcycle stuff. Anything with batteries. Yeah, the rest of this is all food and stuff. Need the triple A guide anymore, don't need this. Newspaper page. All that there. This was an extra flyer, we'll drop that in the furnace as well. Cash cards up there. Okay, so the water situation, or the fridge situation in general. The refrigerator just actually doesn't hold that much stuff. <laughs> I think is part of the problem. Um. Hmm. Anything that doesn't go bad can go out of the fridge. So that's not usually how I like to sort things. I usually like to sort things by a food pile and a water pile. It would have to be the food getting pulled out, though, I think. Oh. <laughs> Ammonia should not be in here. all that out here too. Oh, these aren't all full. I thought they were all full. Makes sense that they change it, but also not something I'm used to seeing. The thing is refrigerators don't even store anything. Like it's not it's not keeping food food warm right now or cold right now. Doesn't really matter how we sort this. And we might even want to move the refrigerator for uh, storage space instead. So for now, move the water and stuff. That was my first instinct. I'm overthinking it. It doesn't even matter that much. All the gallon jugs and stuff can go over there as well. remember when we grabbed stout, because I shouldn't have really been grabbing it. Any type of containers. Even put the wrappers there, even though they're not useful. Actually, the plastic bags and plastic wraps should all go into the uh, junk pile. Tea leaves and coffee powder. I'll move over. It's a lot of tea. <laughs>
getting there. This one, I want the boxes, bags, and wrappers. They're gonna go in here. I have half a mind to empty this refrigerator out, and I guess pull the refrigerator into here temporarily, just in case we can use it for something later. And just for now. Need it all there. Whoa. Let's quick save it. <laughs> that didn't look right for a moment there. I'm trying to grab this thing. I was pressing F for that one accident. Let's grab a table. That's nice how it like fuses together like that. It's really cool. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that. Go, please. Now. I like having it in a fridge, just for the appearance's sake of keeping our food in our fridge, but it doesn't actually help any. If something poisonous is rotten, wouldn't that just make it more effective as a poison? <laughs> We're all out of time for this video, though. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.